Franklin Delano Roosevelt was elected to office in the depth of the deepest depression in American history. He promised a new deal to address the problems. In his inaugural address, he voiced the following memorable words. President Hoover, Mr. Chief Justice, my friends, this is a day of national consecration. And I am certain that on this day, my fellow Americans expect that on my induction into the presidency, I will address them with a candor and a decision which the present situation of our people impels. This is preeminently the time to speak the truth the whole truth, frankly and boldly. Nor need we shrink from honestly facing conditions in our country today. This great nation will endure as it has endured, will revive and will prosper. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Roosevelt began his term of office during what became known as the 100 Days. It was a hundred days of actions and laws that passed. New agencies of government were formed and new activities begun. The goal was to get the American economy moving again and help those who were unemployed. While not all of the policies were successful, it did improve the economy and it provided work for those who were unemployed. Roosevelt also made other lasting contributions, such as the passage of Social Security, which eventually eliminated poverty among the elderly. Roosevelt was an extremely effective communicator, the first president to effectively use the medium of radio. Throughout his presidency, at important moments, he gave fireside chats to the American people. President Roosevelt was a strong commander-in-chief. As the world slid toward World War II, Roosevelt's sympathies clearly lay with the Allies led by England, but he knew that he did not have enough support within the U.S. to go to war. He did all that he could to support England short of war, including the vital Lend-Lease program. Roosevelt agreed to run for an unprecedented third term as the war in Europe raged, promising to keep the U.S. out of it. Roosevelt took a strong line in trying to stop Japanese expansionism in the Pacific, and once Japan attacked the U.S. in Pearl Harbor, Roosevelt rallied the American people to make the effort to win the war. Roosevelt supported a Europe First policy, in which initially the effort against Germany received most of the early resources in fighting the war. President Roosevelt took part in the great wartime conferences, including Casablanca, Tehran, and Yalta. Roosevelt did not live to see the end of the war, dying from a cerebral hemorrhage in May 1945.